Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another hardcore episode. Previously, we built this in the end. One of our most insane builds ever, I'm pretty sure, let alone in this world. And I'm not going to lie, I built this and I didn't log in for two weeks. This project took so much of my energy that I just didn't want to have to enter this world again for a while. However, we're back, and today we're going to be building a lot of stuff. But this time, a lot of different stuff. As I have some big plans for the future involving some more huge builds like the ones you're seeing behind me. And today is going to help us with those future plans. We're going to be building a lot of automated farms. Also, YouTube took away polls, so I can't poll this, but leave a comment and let me know. Do you prefer the UI being this size right here, with the inventory being kind of small like this? Or do you prefer it a little bigger like this, with the inventory being considerably bigger on the screen. Not for playing, just for watching my videos. Please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, it's time we got to work, and I mean business today, baby. I'm not addressing you as baby, by the way. Uh, that's weird. The only, I don't call anyone baby, not even my wife. Although I do call a babe. Anyway, moving on. The first thing we're building today is long overdue. And it is, of course, a slime farm. Now, like every farm I build, I'm following a tutorial because I'm stupid and can't come up with these ideas myself. And this one is by someone called Day6. And we need a lot of materials. They are glass, fence gates, scaffolding, campfires, fences, iron blocks, carved pumpkins, pressure plates, torches, hoppers, trap doors, a load of chests, a load of building blocks, some stairs, a load of slabs, some dirt slash grass. And that is everything except for one material. I need 19 and a half stacks of brown mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I have 42. Right. I need an axe with fortune on it. So let's make a diamond axe. And let's see if we can get fortune. Silk touch won't do. No luck, but I can buy two fortune two bucks here. Put on a mending, an efficiency, and a fortune. And voila! Hopefully this works. Lovely. Now, I tried to grow loads of these at once, but it wouldn't work. So here's me bone milling the same mushroom over and over and over. And 30 minutes of chopping mushrooms later. There we go. And that is everything. You probably don't care, but another thing I've just done is rearrange all of my ender chest and put everything into some shulkers that I need. But let's head to the swamp where we will be building this farm. Weirdly, there's still slimes here from when I was hunting them before. The slime farm is working. So first, First, we gotta clear some space. Mainly, we've just gotta get rid of all these trees and some dirt and grass. And now, I'll build the rest of the farm and won't explain anything to you because I'm following a tutorial. It'll be in the description. And this thing took quite a while to build, mainly because I had to clear out quite a lot of space again. I used a beacon to speed it up, of course, but it still took a decent amount of time. But you can see the basics are we're making these four killing chambers with some iron golems to lure them in, and then inside we're placing mushrooms so only slimes can spawn because slimes can spawn on mushrooms apparently and then at the top we're making an afk chamber and lighting up the area around it and we also afk'd and oh my gosh i didn't even realize what day we are ending this on let's have a look at that f3 menu day 2000 2000 days on this world that's Kind of crazy. That's my new record for any single player by a long shot. But anyway, how's the slime farm getting on? Ooh. Let me gather it all. So we've earned 15 minutes of AFK. And we've got nearly 17 stacks, which equates to... Oh, boy. Nearly two stacks of blocks. That is so good. Oh, and I wait. Oh, and I actually missed some. What the heck? There's so much. Actually, well over two stacks. Lovely. And I've actually collected all the grass and the dirt we got from clearing out that hole there. As we will be using that very shortly. But let's head home. On day 2000, I can't believe it's day 2000. I keep pressing F3 and looking at the number. It makes me so happy. And as fun as it is to look at all the stuff we built in these 2000 days, we're not going to waste day 2000 just doing nothing. Oh, no, no. We're going to get started with our next big project, which requires a lot of terraforming. A, a lot of terraforming. 
a lot, okay? And we've got all this grass and dirt here and a little bit more in the chest over there. Let's see how far it gets us, shall we? As we're going to go straight into a day 2000 time lapse. Now I have a love and hate relationship with terraforming. I love how it looks. It can really make builds look so much better, but I hate placing grass. Oh my gosh, it's so boring. Our grass and dirt supply is getting rather low. As you can see, we're all out of grass and we've got a little bit of dirt left and quite a bit more to do. So I guess we need to go get some grass. Shock, surprise, it's a time lapse of me getting grass, except it's raining and now it's not raining. Hopefully we can finish it with all this stuff. Sometimes Minecraft is weird, isn't it? I've just gone and collected a load of grass and dirt to then place instantly a load of grass and dirt. I have fun. I hope you have fun as well watching it. Let's see this next time lapse. Oh yeah, baby, look at him place that grass. Ooh, it's so grassy. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We really had to fix this landscape as it was truly quite horrible, especially with all that sand that I've been clearing out before. But we got there in the end and we started making this thing look pretty, even cleaned up some of the water and just added in some layers and stuff. And on day 2023, which is the year we were recording this, of course, it is not done still. As you can see over there, we've got some lines of where we want to terraform, but we have once again ran out of blocks. Look at all this stuff we've managed to dig up so far. Oh my gosh, this is taking ages. Let's go get some more grass. This time in a fun montage. <laughs> Guys, you are not gonna believe what has happened. Again. Look at this. Look at this. <sighs> Guess you had another power cut. This is the latest backup I have, by the way. Yay. There was a bit of a storm the other night in the UK, and I was recording that last clip at about 1 p.m. UK time. And I actually logged out of the world, but for some reason it was still mid saving the world, and then the power cut like bam which by the way it didn't come back on for nearly 20 hours it didn't come back on till 10 a.m the next day so yeah we're gonna have to try and recover as much as we can let's see what we can do i'm sick of this how does this keep happening to me so once again we've managed to save the world as you can see we've done a bit more terraforming since you last saw me uh but of course all our stuff like our things in our ender chest have gone back so far. So all the stuff I just organized. Oh, I am so annoyed. Basically, what keeps happening during these power cuts is my player data gets corrupted. Here on the left is a normal player data, and here on the right is my player data. As you can see, everything is missing. But everything in the world itself, like our grass blocks, etc., are still here. We did lose quite a few grass blocks from our inventory. But I'm not going to cheat those in. Instead, I'm just going to use up these ones we have left. I am very annoyed, though. I am very annoyed that this has happened again. Since we've moved to our new house, we haven't had a single power cut in two years. And now we've had two in two months. And both have been, well, I've had my hardcore world open. What are the chances? I hate it so much. Oh, well, hopefully this time lapse works and I don't get another power cut. If I do, I'm quitting Minecraft forever. And just so you all know, I have bought a mini backup generator to plug my PC into. So this should never happen again. If we have a power cut, that should kick in. I've just finished collecting this grass and I've just realized the statistics are still all wrong. It says 40,000 grass. I'm pretty sure this was up to like 70,000. I've lost so many again. Why is it always after I farm a load of stuff? Oh dear. Anyway, let's go finish this stupid terraforming and this stupid video in this stupid world, which is making me angry because of how stupid it is that the power keeps stupidly cutting out. I'm not angry. I am angry. Why am I saying I'm not angry? I am. Anyway, I'm going to place grass angrily. Here's some angry music while I place this grass angrily. Huff. Puff. Oh, huff. Puff. I'm so angry. I'm going to show up now. I'm not actually that angry, but I am just a little bit annoyed. I'm actually recording this voiceover days later. As you can see, my voice is really gone. Now we've spent around 50 days on this, which doesn't look like a lot, to be honest. But this is tricky work. I don't know why, but placing grass and dirt and organizing all this has taken 
a very long time. It's a lot of blocks. And at the moment, it kind of doesn't make sense. There's a lot of holes everywhere. There's just random stuff. It will all make sense shortly, okay? It's going to be beautiful. As this will all be leading up to something over here, which we're not going to build today. Instead... That'll be for next video, where we're going to do something massive once again. Today, though, we're working on this, which is some farmland. I'm going to spoil it. I don't know why I've been trying not to spoil it. We're going to have a house. We're going to have some fields of wheat, as we do have some fields of wheat over there. But I just think fields of wheat and flowers look so nice. And these flowers over here look amazing. And I think if this whole area was just wheat fields, that would look so cool. So we're going to start with the fields, as we have some other stuff we're going to build around here. But the fields of wheat will be the first thing. And for the fields of wheat, we need a lot of stuff. Also, I've said fields of wheat way too many times. So, uh, yeah, let's go get the stuff we need for the fields of wheat. 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 I'll shut up now. 11 minutes into the episode, and this is our first material gathering montage. Joel, what the heck is wrong with you? You're rubbish. You can't even gather materials as much as you used to anymore. Why am I saying this? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, here I go, placing all those birch leaves I just gathered to make some outlines for these fields of wheat. But there's also other fields in there as well. Oh, is there? There is. Okay, that was the easy part. Now we've got to actually hoe all these fields. Okay. We're probably going to have to fix this at some point, but let's get hoeing. Placing those bushes was a blast. I actually really enjoyed placing the birch bushes. Hoeing all this ground. Oh my gosh, it takes so long. Look at this here. The days are passing by. Actually, it's still only been one day. It's not actually taken as long as I thought, but I had to place so much water, hoe so much land, and it did actually end up taking about an hour or so to do all this and we still haven't planted the wheat this is literally just hoeing all the grass which yeah it, it's a lot of grass it's a lot of hoeing but i'm happy with it. it 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 looks cool on the time lapse at least that is a lot of fields guess we're gonna need a lot of seeds and there is a reason for this by the way and that is because i like to build with packed mud and of course with packed mud you need wheat so i'm making sure i have plenty of wheat. For gathering all this wheat, I use my fortune hoe to get the most seeds possible. I think that's how that works. I don't know though. We got two sugar boxes of seeds plus some extra. Will it fill all these fields? Oh gosh. And how can I make this time lapse different to the other time lapses of me just hoeing the fields? Well, let me tell you right now, Joel, you're about to come up with something really creative. You're going to do this. What are you going to do? Please tell me, because I've not really thought of it yet. Future Joel's problem. I'm going to unplanned rhyme every word, because that is the curd of the way that makes cheese in the hay bales. I am terrible at this. Oh my gosh, two shulker boxes didn't finish it off. We've still got so much more to do. What? That's 54 stacks of seeds. It wasn't enough. Oh, let's go get more. And this one here is going to be way more fun. So, cue the music. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to do some ad libs. Just throw them in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. DJ. Smallish beans. Get it. Oh, we're done. Okay, that's the end. Cool. Oh, yes, we are done with our fields of wheat. Oh, my gosh. Some of it's starting to grow as well now. I would go frolic through these fields of wheat, but I don't want to accidentally stand on some. Also, fun fact, wheat is now my third most used block, meaning I've planted 25,000 seeds. But I'm really happy with these. I think these are going to look really cool. But we're going to move on really quickly to something completely different. And no, we're not done with that yet. Okay, we're not done. But so far... I've got two wood farms in this world. We've got this one, which can do spruce, oak, and birch. And we've got this one here, which can do dark oak. But one of the woods we use the most is mangrove. Look, there's some over there. There's some over there. There's some there. And mangrove is one of the most annoying blocks to farm in the game. So I'm going to make a mangrove wood farm today. However, a lot of farms are very ugly, so I like to cover them up with buildings. And this one is massive. So we're going to have to dig it into the ground. And I was thinking just over here would be quite good because it's where I like chop some wood anyway. And it's quite close to the bone mill farm, which I can hopefully run at the same time. So yeah, let's build it just over here. 
So I've marked out a square here, and we are currently at Y101. We need to get down to Y53. Oh dear. It's going to be a lot of digging. So to make this entertaining, I'm going to think of many hole-related puns. And we're going to throw them in right now. Good luck, Joel, because I can only think of one right now. And it's praying to the Holy Lord. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Oh, as a Minecraft creator of content, I uh, have a bit of a pit in my stomach as I'm trying to get out the trenches and think of some whole related pun, pun, puns, puns. Ah! Okay, let's ditch the puns now as they're getting pretty hollow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But we do need to build the rest of the farm right now, which we need a lot of materials for. Do we have them all, Mr. Chess System? Turns out the answer is yes. Look at all this lovely stuff. Very nice. And we're going to be following a Shulker Craft tutorial today for this thing. Uh, and we're not going to be decorating the outside today either. I just want to get this thing up and running so we can build some more stuff over there. Let's see if we can get it to work. I'm scared as I think this farm can mess up. Anything with TNT cannons scares me. But while we build, Joel will tell you his favourite facts about mangrove trees. Won't you, Joel? You have to now. I've said it in the video and I'm not going to re-record this clip. Good luck. Yes, Joel. Here are seven fascinating facts about mangroves that I am ringing out of my brain and definitely not reading off Google, such as mangroves are some of the most important carbon sinks on the planet. Wow. And uh, mangroves are found in salty water. Ooh, salty. And mangroves can help mitigate coral bleaching? What does that mean? And mangroves contribute back to the economy and society. What, do they like pay taxes or something? What? All right, all that AFKing done. Let's load this thing up with some bone meal. Gosh, I hope this works. Four shulkers of bone meal in here, roughly. Let's get some mangrove propagals. And I've just remembered I forgot to build the collection system slash bone meal making thing, which we're gonna do now. It won't take long. In fact, let me walk into this wall here, and when we turn around, and it is done. Oh, isn't that great? What a lovely transition. So this is a basic dispenser. It'll dispense out all the stuff into this water stream, and then we collect ourselves some sticks or mangrove logs, and all the other stuff will go into these composters here. But I think we're finally ready to start this farm. Let's turn it on. TNT should start falling from the top now. It is good. Okay. Let's get in position, which I believe is we stand here, and then we aim at this stair, like this. There we go. We planted our first sapling. Now we just hold right click, and it should. There, look, it's blowing stuff up. It looks like the logs land on us. So once our inventory fills up, it'll go into the sorting system. Let's get okay for like... 10 minutes, see what happens. All right, that is 10 minutes up. Does seem to leave a little bit of stuff. So one problem I've noticed is I started with, what was it, like 48 mangrove particles. I've got 20 left, which is not good. Also, I'm pretty sure I picked up pretty much everything. We've got nine in there, although those have filled up with 41 now. Well, one of them has. We've got some sticks. We've got no bone mill, but our inventory's full of stuff. Let's put it all in here. So 10 minutes for over five stacks of mangrove. That's pretty good. Also a load of sticks, but like I said, the propagule thing is going to be an issue. But at least it works. So there we go. We have a mangrove wood farm now. Very nice. I think that is definitely going to be quicker in the long run. Also, it gave us a load of stone and other goodies to play with. But it's time to head back to the main project of today. And on this spot right here, we're going to be building a lovely farmhouse. Ooh. But before we can build the farmhouse, we need materials, baby. Yeah, listen to the pumping music playing. I'm hyped and I'm definitely not still sick and feeling terrible. And that's why my voice sounds weird. But let's get all these materials in Minecraft because it's what I love to do. I actually do like doing this. It's quite fun and quite nice because I just watch a movie. I was watching Cars, the movie, during this one. Here's a fun fact. Is it the medication going to my head and I'm getting a bit weird? I don't know. But anyway, let's build this farmhouse. Ooh, look at it. It's a farmhouse. I, I don't know what this was modeled after. I just sort of made it up and I thought it looked kind of cool. I made sure to use mangrove though. And as day 2100 comes to a close, we are done. Let's have a sleep in one of these beds here. 
as yes, I have decorated the inside a little bit, as you can see. The plan is we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight villagers in this place. We put eight composters as well, as you can see, scattered around. All we have to do is make sure that they can't get out, which they can't. And we'll have eight farmers to trade with. Very nice indeed. Functional as well as looking pretty cool and also look the wheat fields are pretty much all grown apart from a few that were just out of render distance over here but they're looking magnificent look at those Woohoo! but let's give a chance for these to grow in shall we by building a big old barn right here Quickly, Joel, go get those materials. Starting out with some dark oak wood as we had run out dark oak saplings to use our dark oak wood farm. We also got some mud bricks and then we went back to our mangrove farm for a little bit until this happened. What on earth? There's a bee blocking my farm. How did it even get down here? Stupid bee. Anyway, that should hopefully be enough. Anyway, we got stripping our mangrove wood and then we also collected some oak leaves and then we got building our barn. As you can see, it's made out of mangrove. That's the kind of theme of this episode. It's why I built the mangrove farm so that I could have loads of mangrove builds in the future and not have to worry about chopping down those stupid trees. I also added a field in the background. Lovely. Ah, lovely. It is done. A very nice barn where we are, of course, going to have some animals. By the way, if my voice sounds different slash weird for all these clips, it's because I've been ill and I've been recording this over like four weeks now. It's taken a long time. Anyway, because my voice is being weird, we're just going to finish everything else off. I think I have pretty much every material I need. So let's go gather them and let's do one final massive time lapse. I actually lied to you right there. There's two time lapses. You gullible idiots thought that I was only going to do one time lapse. You idiots. You morons. I'm sorry. I don't know where, I'm, where this is coming from. I just like calling people idiots sometimes. I don't think any of you are idiots. Maybe you are idiots. Let me know how you did in your exams. Do you have exams this time of year? I'm 30 years old. I don't know where exams are anymore. Anyway, look, I added some animals to the fields. That took a long time because they take ages to breed up the stupid idiots. I'm doing it again. Oh, my voice is going. I'm really like ill and stuff, guys. Anyway, look, here's me placing some grass at the end here. As we had to get some villagers into that house, like I said earlier. I went and destroyed all this wheat field, which I fixed later, by the way. Don't worry, I'm not a blooming anti-wheat field person. I don't know what I'm saying again. But villagers, my gosh, these are annoying. I needed some farming villagers so I could start breeding them up in my house. And I went for these two guys because they were the nearest by and I don't really use them. They were just there for decoration. Whereas I will use these ones. But look, we got them in the house and now we got the other one in the house as well. Completely destroyed my wheat field, by the way. Oh my gosh, it took quite a while to fix. But after that, we managed to break all the blocks and collect all our rails again. Traded some bread with one of them and got breeding them up as we're going to have all our farmers for trading our golden carrots in this building right here lovely well would you look at this this place is looking so good look at it look at me walking through these fields of wheat these fields of sheep speaking of which come here my lovelies breed up breed up for me thank you i think from above this place looks kind of cool but I think it's when you're coming in down low, like from over here, where it just looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with this area. This is meant to just be like a sort of mainly aesthetic, fun area where it just looks nice and you can just walk through and it's just Minecraft. It just makes you feel happy. It's meant to be somewhere that takes you to here, which is where I'll be working next time on that probably our biggest project yet. Oh gosh, I'm going to go start planning that right now. Make sure to leave a like and comment. Subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time for another hardcore Minecraft video. Good. Bye.